EMI's check-in has had a makeover. We've got 17 in business class, 46 in premium, 161 in economy. So it's good. After years of planning, it's finally launching its first flight to Mumbai in India. And Greg is on his toes. Musicians are going to move to the gates and they've got the dancer seats. Make sure the dancers are all changed and ready to go on. All right, so I'll be back in half an hour. All right, thanks, Ian. Right, see you then. There are several journalists and foreign dignitaries coming to check out the service, but for the staff, it's BMI's owner, Sir Michael Bishop, that's most important. Is he not here yet? Is he not? Is Sir Michael here yet? No, not yet. He's not here yet. I didn't think he was. I've, I've we, sat on um, his party there now, the VIPs. Yeah, all the VIPs are just slowly checking in. Oh, Martin, okay. any news on Sir Michael? Um, 7.45. That's now. No. In Terminal 3, over 30 children from a Chinese school orchestra and its leader, Gary Sanderson, are stranded 5,000 miles from their home in Shanghai. We've had uh, some very good audiences, we've had a great time. The kids have enjoyed it and they don't want to go back. And the way things are going, we might not get back, we'll find out. <laughs> but to make all that noise, orchestras don't travel light. It's a drum. It's a penny drum. Well, is it one person or...? It's a school party going back to Shanghai. So what's happening is they're all, some of them are over 32 kilos. At Heathrow, baggage handlers aren't allowed to lift anything weighing more than 32 kilos. Well, they accepted them in Shanghai to come to over. To come over, yeah. Virgin accepted them in Shanghai yeah. to come over. And yeah. they're saying... Now it's down to the baggage company if they'll accept it. There's room for it on the aircraft, but it's the weight, obviously, the problem is the weight. We couldn't find a company to, to, to ship it over separately the way that we wanted it, and we were advised that this was the best way to do it. David Hines, the terminal troubleshooter, is the man to sort it out. This is obviously something that has to be resolved. This is where you've got to use your brains and common sense. There's always a way. If people is willing to be flexible, there's always a way around it. I mean, this one here alone, yeah, yeah. we'll have problems getting it through the X-ray machine. Yeah. Maybe if we take a box that's lighter, it's got some space in. If they're to get their precious instruments home, they'll need to divide up the boxes to make sure they weigh less than 32 kilos. Yeah, everything has to go in the yeah, scale. Yeah, yeah. 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 You want to put it in the scale? Yeah. If they miss their flight, there'll be lots of anxious parents waiting in Shanghai. I'm the director of music, so I'm in charge. If, it's my, if it goes wrong, it's my fault, basically. At BMI, staff are learning there's no such thing as a boss who's late. It's not late. He can turn up right at the very last second. That's not a problem for us. Especially since he owns the company, we can't exactly tell him when to come up and when not to turn up. He's still got a lot of time to check in. Which gives Greg a chance to check out the glamorous meters and greeters who've flown in to spice up the day. Hello, I'm Greg from BMI. How are you? I'm fine. So you're Miss Mumbai? Yeah. Good, good. And you're going back on the flight today? Yes, today. Tell me, what can I do in Mumbai then if I was out there? What do you do in Mumbai? It depends on what kind of lifestyle you enjoy. Finally, the boss is here. Sir Michael's run BMI for 30 years, amassing a personal fortune of almost £200 million. Pounds. It's taken months to plan today. Nothing can go wrong. Good morning, Sir Michael. How are you? And everyone's happy to play whatever role they've been given. Sir Michael, you're not checking any of your bags in, are you? That's fine. There you go. I'm the porter today. So far, so good for Greg and the team, but with 90 minutes till takeoff, they won't rest until Sir Michael's safely airborne. Sorry, 
Police community support officer Sarah Young has been called to a store where a shoplifter has been captured on CCTV. Same. Yeah. So it is a familiar face, you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Let me just find Jason to see if I can get his name. And he's well known around the Heathrow shops. Jason, remember the guy that done shoplifting at Austin Reed the other week? What was his name? Can you can you flip through your pocketbook and get back to me? Because that's him. I mean, we've got this saved on it, so if you want a copy of it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank right. Thank All right. You. Thanks a lot. Bye. See you See later. Ya. He's been known to um been shoplifting oh, over in Terminal you. One. He got arrested a couple few weeks back for it. I'm gonna go out looking for him. All right, then we'll do that. At the boarding gate, BMI's PR extravaganza is in full swing. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. I feel like I'm in Mumbai already. The flight's full, not just with VIPs, but with paying passengers as well. You feel like you're already in India? Oh, no, exactly. <laughs> All right. Everything seems to be running smoothly. It's yeah, just starting to board now. We're just going to do a couple more photos with Sir Michael with the dancers behind the backdrop of BMI, and then we're going to get him on the aircraft. But with departure approaching, there's an unexpected development the unmistakable sound of a fire alarm. The fire alarm has been activated. Staff will direct you to a place of safety. Please leave the area immediately. International Departure Lounge was evacuated, which means half our passengers are delayed. They're getting, so we're basically waiting for them to turn up now. We're missing a lot of passengers. Goodbye, Sir Michael. Hope everything goes well for you. <laughs> You're welcome. 23 now. Here's a group. Here's a family coming in. Just but look at them. Look at them just waltzing in. Look. This is one flight that can't be delayed. But 36 passengers are missing, and months of planning are beginning to unravel. 15 minutes to go. 10. My watch is fast. No, My watch is fast. We've got 15 minutes to go. What's the departure time? We've got to get a, get a move on now. Obviously, that's fine. Yeah. Put that straight over. What number is that? 21. 21. It's been a frantic half hour of repacking for the school orchestra. Fine. See, some of, some of these are large instruments which you can't break down anyway. Yeah, this, uh, you know what I mean? We've got the cellos, they won't go down. Electric guitar. That's if there's only one electric guitar in there. But most of it seems to be... Uh, Majority that we can break down, they've broken down anyway now. Almost there. We're there, nearly there. Lovely, thank you very much. All right. But its troubles are not over yet. There's still the question of how much transporting over half a ton of excess luggage is going to cost. 